John Redcorn? Is that you? Dale, you must be wondering why I'm hiding behind this bush. No, I just figured there was a cool Indian reason. Is there a cool Indian reason? Yes, but I also wanted to see Joseph's sister and her mother. That's Charlene. Candy? Sorry, I don't have any. You know, the mothers of my children are pretty hot. The aliens seem partial to pouty lips and an ample bosom. Yes, yes they do. Well, I'm leaving. Couldn't even turn a woman off Bill. How's that for sad? I wish I had a debonair ladies' man to seduce her. Too bad Boomhauer finds motherhood disgusting. Well, see you later, John. Redcorn! Of course! I'm sorry? John Redcorn, I bet you could romance a woman out of a relationship with a giant doofus. Dale, are you asking me to steal your friend's companion? I don't want my child raised by an idiot! Yes, it's very difficult to watch an idiot raise your child. Then join me. And together we can strike down this perverse and unholy union. There's some sex in it for you. Very well. I will help. Wingo! The sex will be with Charlene. You got that part, right? Bill! What a relief! I dropped my keys in the back of the meat freezer, and I need someone well insulated to fish them out for me. I'm kind of the go-to guy for stuff like this. I'll be right back. <sighs> John Redcorn. Hello, Candy. It's been a long time. Yes, it has. I haven't gone by my stage name in years. It's Charlene now. Your name may have changed, but your incredible beauty has not. I've had a lot of quality time with the kids since Charlene hooked up with her old girlfriends. <laughs> oh, yeah? A nice bunch of gals, are they? Well, I haven't met them, but they seem fun. They've kept Charlene out late every night this week. <laughs> <clears throat> Just remember to funny Sniglet. Bill, honey, I'm meeting the girls for lunch. Can you come back to the house? Hey, partner! Just wanted to get a status report. Phase one infiltration seems to have been accomplished. Repeatedly. When do we get to phase two? Charlene breaking up with Bill. Dale, romancing a woman out of a relationship requires much energy. Okay, but let's not drag it out. I'd like to shatter Bill's happiness in a way that doesn't leave him all mopey. Going out to meet the girls, huh? Again? I'm sorry. It's just that seeing the girls after all this time has brought back some fond memories. Do you want me to cancel so I can watch the kids? No, no. Have a, have a good time with your girlfriends. I, I was going to take the kids to Captain Bear's Pizza. <laughs> Let them crawl over someone else's furniture for a change. Oh, Bill. You're so good with Kate and Drew. They have so much fun with you. Yeah, I, I do with them, too. They're... They're just a big bundle of... <gasps> Don't get the fire extinguisher! Was that John Redcorn? I know. How long does it take to steal a woman from Bill? Oh, perhaps I should explain. Um, you see, I've recruited John Redcorn to seduce Charlene. Soon my daughter will be out of that screw-up Bill's house and back in the healthy embrace of a single-parent family. Bill, I have a confession. Charlene hasn't been out with her girlfriends the past two weeks. She's been with John Redcorn. John Redcorn? How, how do you... I set it up. Charlene and John Redcorn are having an affair. Not in the face! I'm sorry, I, I just went a little nuts when I found out you'd be raising my daughter. Hey, what's that now? Uh, Dale tested Kate's DNA and, uh, she and Joseph have the same father. Joseph and Kate have the same father. You. Plus, I had a woman stolen by John Redcorn. That's kind of an honor. We should all be so lucky. <laughs>